Well then, folks. Uh, big apologies about yesterday. Uh, my dad came home from the football. He had a bit of ale in him, and he had to go to bed. So, I was in the middle of, as you heard, a pretty important part of this game, pretty important transition. And you can't just turn it off, because it had been a while since I'd saved. So, I ended up playing pretty much the remainder of the last episode in almost silence. I was trying to talk as much as I can, but, you know, relatives were trying to sleep, so... Uh, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can, and I stopped as soon as possible. And you haven't missed anything, because I haven't touched it since, and we're going to move on from where we were. I've also played a hell of a lot more of the modded version of this game, on the emulator, the insane difficulty mod, and I can tell you that that difficulty is considerably more challenging than this one. Unbelievably so, in ways I didn't even realise. Uh, for instance, they seem to have changed how frequently you get orbs and spheres. So you see how I have nearly a hundred of these spheres? To get ability spheres, I have to use the ability extract ability from enemies, and I get one. Which means I'm literally passing abilities on the sphere board while I move around it, because I have to question whether or not it's worth using the orb unless I want to do some some farming, which I'm, I don't really want to do. And it's You'd be surprised how that changes how you play. And, of course, all the stats have been subtly changed. So everything pretty much gives you one now. And the entire thing is much more challenging. I just killed the... Uh, what did I just kill? Um, I just killed the creature at Meehan High Road, the Sin Spawn, and it took forever. It was a really long fight. Very tricky. But I got it done, and it was fun. But alas, let's finish on the sphere grid, and let's move into one of the trickier Cloister of Trials, and uh, one of the last two, the only place after this, is the final summons area, so that should be fun. But this is one you can't get b back to, so we need to, to get the Destruction Sphere, and we need to pay attention. But I did always like this one, even though it's easily the most confusing and obfuscating one you'll come across, because it's a lot of moving platforms. So in the previous ones, when I made a mistake, which is going to happen in this temple, I didn't have to, to wait through much to get back to where I was and, and reallocate what I was doing. However, on this you have to do this, these crazy little space platforms. Okay. Not being able to move the camera is probably going to be a bit of a pain in the dick. But it's kind of funny, wasn't it? Did you notice how it didn't show us that we had... It didn't even tell us we had to press a button to stop on them. I just kind of tried it and it was right. Because part of my brain, you know, the animal side remembers. I mean, on that you can't even see what direction it wants you to go, can you? So, right, left, right. And we'll see what's here. Mm. Let's take the sphere. Insert the sphere. Ah, and that fills in that space down there. Awesome. Good to know. That place we've never been to. But I've mentioned a few times throughout this playthrough that I really like the Cloisters, and I do. And it's because the Final Fantasies kind of didn't do puzzles too much. They just kind of don't. And then when they do, some of them are really confusing, and I always found the ones on this game to, to be really worthwhile. And don't get me wrong, they are confusing. You've seen me get stuck several times. Oh, bollocks. I panicked. I got it prematurely. Yeah, 
that's a little bit annoying. But it's just unfamiliarity. Once we dust off the old cobwebs, we'll know what we're doing. I suppose I should check what's down the other side, but I believe if we continue down this path, it's going to throw us back to the start. But let's have a see just in case. I think it just tips you off. Yeah, it does. It's just a reset. Not to worry. We don't lose anything. It doesn't punish us. Right, up, oh, right, up, oh, right. And then this time, we know we've got uh, an eternity to press the button. I thought I had to do this quick. I was wrong. Down, up, oh, right, down, up, oh, right. It's kind of stupid how the camera ob like obscures the platform. It just puts Tidus over it. Up, oh, right. Motherfucker. That's tricky. Ooh, that looks like where we need to get the destruction sphere from. But it looks like we need to put a sphere in whatever's over there, so we probably can't do this just yet. But we'll check it out. Yeah, I'm right. It needs a sphere of some sorts, so we'll... For the moment, we'll take this. Because we don't really know the lay of the land yet to know what direction we need to be going in. Let's hopefully get on those areas that were super quick this time and not mess it up. Oh, no choice then, it's just going to dump us. <laughs> oh, this one gives you a choice. Might as well spam it there because precise timing just doesn't seem to be the best way to get that. But what has that done? Is that just a, a path down here? The camera really doesn't help you here. I bet there's a lot of people bringing the guidebooks out for this one. Interesting, that's just going to send me back. So there's a way of changing that glyph to run up there, which means that that's obviously not what we want to do just yet. So, we'll go back onto that straight and we'll try and catch that second avenue, see what's down there. That was nowhere near as fast as that initial transition, was it? Ooh, that's the sphere we might need for the other place. And when we take it out, it's probably going to change the direction of those glyphs. Yeah, that's exactly what it's going to do, I suspect. So does that mean we maybe... So what I'm going to try here, before we come back at this part, I'm going to try those sphere space across the way. And then we'll come back here and we'll swap spheres that was in that to change where that glyph takes us. So we should be able to do this from this, unless this does it right, up, oh, right, up, oh, right, up. Oh. Ah, oh, fucked up. This is going to send us super quick. Right, here we go. Right, up, oh, right, up. Oh. Motherfucker! This is not that difficult. No. It's almost like we're timed to not hit it. Like a cock block. But we hit it last time. So that can't be true. I'm just gonna bash. Maybe that'll work. Let's get off on the first one, because it was slower if you remember, and maybe we can land it that time. Bum, 
Problem solving on. Oh, this coffee's not as good as the last one I had. That's disappointing. Something that's really funny as well on the PC version, because the emulation maps buttons to a controller that's not technically what's right, I cannot do the overdrive for Lulu. So I rotate the analog, all the inputs are right, but it just doesn't register at all. So Lulu, who I'm using, is kind of gimped, which is really annoying because she's she's really strong, of course. Oh, come on, Tidus, you're fucking walking into it, you fat head. Oh, I don't, what am I doing? Never mind, Tidus, I'm the fat head. My bad, I'll forgive you. Does that work? No. It does. Cool. So what's that? That's the destruction sphere. Okay. Right. Uh. Then of course. Should we check the other way? I don't know if we went right. I don't know where right leads, but I think it might have been a dead end. I could be wrong. But we've definitely got a destruction sphere. Should we try it in that place we were just? I don't think it'll be there. But it's, you know, Sod's Law. If I don't try it, that's exactly where it will be. But I get the feeling that that's not right. But we will try. Because we're tryers. Right. right, oh, right, oh, right. Seems like mashing it's probably the best way to do it, because it doesn't select forward, because you're already going forward, so it's going to select the, the other direction either way. I have to do this, don't I? Hang on a second, have I gone the wrong I've gone the wrong bit. Bollocks. Then again, what does this do now? Nah. Oh, it just spins us around anyway, even though there's no direction on it. I can't believe we got to the wedding and I couldn't talk about it. That was so frustrating. This is a great cutscene there as well. The whole skating down the, the t those taut cables and doing the flipping midair. It's a pretty badass cutscene. It's ridiculous, but it's great. That every fight as well. That was pretty crazy. Delay buster saving my ass when I was on the brink of dying. So let's just test this. No, that theory's not right. You've got to time it. Hey, well. Now we know. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh. There you go. So it's not tricky, it's just... Camera. If you could <clears throat> pivot the camera so that it was above you. Bird's eye view. Probably be really simple, but... It just... Have I gone down the wrong one again? Oh, please don't say I've gone down the wrong one again. I think I might have done that. Oh, I'm so sorry, folks. Talking, it kills the brain. It truly does. What am I doing? And I'm going to miss this next one again, so I'm going to have to do a second rotation. Because I'm such an elite Bevel Temple player. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Right. Right up, right up, right up, right up. There we go. That's nice and leisurely paced, that. I like that.
Ziff. That actually did something. I did not think it would. I'm so glad I didn't second guess myself. This might be the earliest we've been able to manipulate the destruction sphere in any temple except for maybe Besaid. With the irony being I didn't get a chance to show you that because I ended up going the right way like an idiot. Right, left, right, left, right. Ooh, that was really close, that. I had to delay it. I always remember the Zanakin trials because it involves Tetris. <laughs> or, you know, like, it's Top Trump's Tetris, I think. If I'm not confusing the area. Please be simple. Please just be straightforward. Boom. Treasure. That would be great. Oh, gosh. Where are we? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what we wanted. Oh shit, I didn't want to step on that. Oh, did I? What's over here? Oh, don't be cutscene, please don't be cutscene. I'm holding my face so hard. Oh my god! Inside, maybe? That was it. Then what are we standing here for? How did I do Bevel so fast? I've never done Bevel that fast. That's bullshit. Hey! I didn't even go down that other that other path. Oh, we're in that chest. I better be able to go back. The good news is we got the uh, Anima one. The bad news is we'd probably be missed out on something potentially really cool. What is the cha the 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 summon here? Is it Bahama? And then Unaleska gives you the final aeon? Yeah, it's Bahama. It's Kaiser Sozi, told you it were him. Those ground mill rules are awesome as well. What's that? That's the faith you don't the faith. ask. They join with the summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. That mural looks awesome. It's like a half human, half Bahama thing. <laughs> Yuna! The back of that dress has, like, got a bouquet built into it. That's crazy. She does look hot, though. I highly doubt we're going to be able to go back for that chest. I can't... Why did I do that? Oh, why did I do it? I have this curse Wait, of thinking I'm doing extra stuff and I'm going the right way. Guns by any chance? There's the last of them. Keynock. You, you fat, stand pathetic trial. man. <laughs> the Vire Aqueduct. I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Why is he so evil? Why does that voice actor never do anything non evil? Is it. What it Norman, his name? I think it was Norman. There's Bahama. His perpetual grin. Like he's just. Swallowed a fly or heard a really funny joke. I can't believe we did besaid that uh, besaid Bevel that quick. And I know it wasn't fast in the grand scheme of things. I messed up a ton of times on the elevator things, escalators or whatever they are. But still. And I could not do it, but that's what this playthrough is about. It's not about getting everything or going back all the time. That's a walkthrough. Or that's a completionist run. This is a playthrough, so we're embracing it. And I just showed you a loading screen, which I'm trying to trim out, so why am I talking? Why are you talking, Chris? All you do is talk. 
Why are you scolding yourself in the third the person? The High Court of Yevon is now in session. The sacred officers of this court seek nothing but absolute this truth runs, so. in Yevon's name. He's got a mad tash, I love it. those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Kimari no like Maester Kelk Ronso. The right mullet. Swore to protect the people of Yevon. True. Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. Not true at all. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. You attacked their home, you started. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed. His father, Jiskel, with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? Not only that... Maester Seymour... is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed And the here department. is the corruption of Yevon. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. And you ever wondered how he's ruled send for 50 the years? Sent to where they belong? Fucking traitor. Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead? Hmm? Yes, yeah, we heard you the first time, you dead bastard. Uh, Bruce Willis, he did it. You would have to send me to... Good, get out of here, Gandalf. We don't want you. What? You corrupt scumbag. Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. God, I hate corruption. The I hate everything. Rule by the dead Political is nonsense. The misguided failures of the living. Follow two hours in that. Passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. But my beard is eternal. The power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. Don't respect him. The bitch I am is on dead. A pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. This is very loud. This music at this point. Are you telling me that too is futile? It's too bombastic again. Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people. Quick, raise the platform for dramatic effect. Okay. Their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? Wow, she's a ventriloquist too. That Japanese voice actor there must be very subtle. Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. If that isn't the definition of insanity, I don't the know what is. Why not try something decide. different? Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. Uh, hope's overrated. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Hmm. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Yeah, perpetual death. Oh a cult of death. What a fantastic establishment you've got there. The heaven Stick it up your ass. By eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. No. Along with our fantastic calligraphy. Right. Those who question these truths, 
They are traitors. Well, there's your, your religious angle. Lord Micah. We're right, and you're wrong just because. <laughs> Did you really have to shit in here? It's tiny, tiny. Couldn't you hold it? You waste your breath. This reminds me of Final Fantasy IX. Just the whole cage and the water. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. That's got a hilarious minigame, mm. sneaking up on a dude with some keys. <laughs> She's just strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, uh, the spiral of death. Get it? Spira? Spiral? Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. <sighs> Why would you sit on the graffiti? The only bit of interesting thing in that cell, and you sit bang on it. Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really, now? What person would execute a dear friend? God, he's so saki. You would. We can stab him. I wonder if you can, tr like injure somebody who's been unsent. Because I'd kill him just to not send him, then just to continue to keep killing him. So this is the, is it the Via Purifico? Looks like you're next. An interesting yeah, sentence. Next what? Feed them to the wolves. Only ah! the water wolves. Get going. Where's everybody else? Wow, the acoustics in this water are fantastic. <laughs> Floating down there somewhere, maybe. That future technology, eh? From Canada, eh? Ooh, you made it! It's pretty silly putting Blitzball players in water, isn't it? I, I, What's our I, I understand there's a creature in here that's very they dangerous. They expect but... us to give up and die down here. Oh, well, that's a lame way to kill someone. Where's Uni? She couldn't swim. I don't know. <laughs> Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Nah. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. Water looks good. The music here is going to be interesting. How fares the Ronso Maester? If he doesn't agree, we'll kill Seems him. My father's murder troubles him. <laughs> the Ronsos were always very simple-minded. <laughs> Ever the Ronso. Hard-headed, hardly useful. See what I mean? Micah is a douche, man. However, God, I hate him. The Summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. She has very beautiful orifices. She has disturbed the order of Yevon. God, just kill, kill him, Seymour. To live. Kill him, Seymour, please. Kill him again. I Double understand. kill him. Overkill. Let it go, Seymour. She doesn't like you, no Zella one Fingers. No into the Via Purifico has ever survived. But Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Yeah, but she doesn't get sent in, does she? Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. I can't remember, Sir, actually. leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. 
It's a fucking monster. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Where are we? Saudi Arabia? Yeah. I'll go too. You do not trust me? No, I'm fat, I need the exercise. The man who murdered his father. Should have been his own father. Even though that's redundant language, that's generally how you say that. He gives it that air of dramatic flavour. His own father? As opposed to someone else's father? Lady Yuna, forgive me. Sounds like Isaru. Oh, this is Isaru! This is where she is. I remember this being tricky, actually. And I've been neglecting Yuna. Uh oh. But it's not going to be as hard as that mod, so that should give me some.